What's up guys, Econ John here. Welcome to a new four part series on the Shapiro Stiglitz model. In this video, we're just gonna provide an introduction to the model, let's go. So what is the Shapiro Stiglitz model? The Shapiro Stiglitz model is the model of the labor market which considers the case where a firm is unable to perfectly monitor the workers it employs. This means it allows for a situation where workers are able to slack off on their job and get away with it. Formally, the model tells a story regarding the welfare of workers existing and moving between three different states of their career and how these movements happen. These states are being unemployed, being employed and doing their job. And the third one is being employed, but shirking. So shirking is just means that you're at go to work, but you just don't do your job. Uh, you're making paper airplanes or checking your Facebook. Uh, I don't know, doing something else that's not work and not productive for the firm. So the model consists of many infinitely lived consumers L and many firms N. Workers maximize their expected discounted utilities while firms maximize their expected discounted profits. Mathematically speaking, we have to think about four different equations. We have our workers lifetime utility function, which is the integral of E raised to the power of negative rho T times little ut, which is our workers instantaneous utility function where T goes from zero to infinity. The instantaneous utility function is, really depends on if the, our worker is employed or unemployed. If they are employed, uh, the instantaneous utility is the wage the worker receives at time t minus the effort that they go and they put in at time t, where they're going to be exerting an effort, right, which is you know a fixed amount, right, which is e bar, right, and it goes between two, two values, this e bar value and zero. And if they're unemployed, um, they are going to get no utility and uh that means they're going to be putting in zero effort because you know you don't put in effort for a job that you don't work for um we have our third equation which is our workers probability of remaining employed right where we have e over here this is e the number raised to the power of negative b t times t minus t naught this b is uh our exogenous you know job destruction rate right it's a, it's a hazard rate over here and our fourth equation uh, that we go and we have is our firm's profit function, right? Where our firm produces with workers that are exerting effort and they pay both the workers and the shirkers in their form. Um, note that the marginal product is greater than the cost of exerting effort for workers, meaning that the wages that the workers are going and getting paid are greater than the cost of effort for our workers. So as seen on the previous slide, the equation for the probability of remaining employed if working and exerting effort is the following. If we were to consider the ratio of these two of two equations, right, where we have the probability of keeping your job at T plus tau, right, which is some other period, all over PT, um, we have E, right, the number E raised to the power of B tau. Thus, the probability of remaining employed is independent of time, thus implying that workers who have worked longer on the job face the same risk as workers who are newer on the jobs. It should be noted, however, that shirkers face an additional risk that if they're caught shirking, they'll get fired and move to being unemployed. Thus, their probability of uh, staying employed, right, is multiplied by uh, E raised to the power of Q, right, times T minus T naught, where Q is the firm's detection rate. Thus, Shirker's probability of remaining employed is E raised to the power of negative B plus Q times T minus T naught. So this is our first video on the Shapiro-Stiglitz model. I will see you in the next video. Take care.